What's up? What's up? What's up? What up? How y'all doing? So today is Monday, and on Twitter it's Motivation Monday. So I figured, you know, let me come up off the top of the head, get a little motivational. Um, first of all, I want to send a couple of shouts to some people. One, I want to send a big shout to my man Sean Cooper, who started a YouTube channel. Um, Sean Cooper is the guy that I was telling you guys about, but I didn't say his name, who me and him were talking about him developing a YouTube channel. And after many deliberations and planning and paralysis analysis, Sean went out and he did his thing and put a video out. And I have to say, it is very good. Now, he put one out already, and it was just him talking off the top of his head. He didn't have any editing. He didn't have intros, outros, any of that. Just him talking off his head trying to introduce the, the program. And um, I'll say that from that to what he put out the other day, good job, Sean. Real good job. Second, I want to give a shout out to my homegirl, Ty. And I'm going to leave it at that because she doesn't like her whole name. But I call it, that's my ABC. That's my ABC. And she's working on her channel. And so we've been talking. And uh, we're going to try to put that together. So I'm putting the word out now because when it comes out, then I could put her on full blast. You understand? So Ty, thank you very much. Um, so motivation. I find that uh, a lot of times people stop themselves. A lot of times people doubt themselves. They doubt themselves and, or they doubt things that they want to do um, because they may worry about what others think or they're their own worst critic or whatever excuse that comes to the top of your head and it's amazing because your brain is so powerful and if you don't master your mind you don't master your way of thinking and your mindset you stop yourself from doing a whole lot of stuff and for many years at least 20 plus years i did that same thing Worrying about what this one is going to say. Worrying about what that one's going to say. And there'd still be things that I would slide and do, you know, regardless of what people said. Like eBay, recording shows. You know, I've been through a bunch of shows. But I stopped myself from doing a whole lot of stuff. And sometimes I look back at those things because I at least look back at my life at least once a week. Look back and see where I am now compared to where I was then as a way, as a therapy, to make sure that I'm on track, or at least that I'm progressing. And my whole point is that a lot of you are stopping yourself from doing something that you truly want to do because you're worrying about other people, or you're worrying about bills, or you're worrying about all sorts of things. And this is where I'm going to introduce to you the million dollar theory. The million dollar theory, I don't know if anyone else thought of this, but this is something I swear I developed myself. If you, um, if someone was to say to you, say you live in Connecticut, per se, and someone said to you, if you go to California in a matter of seven days, you will have a million dollars. As soon as you get there, I will hand you a briefcase of cold, hard cash, one million dollars. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I at least want to say about 95, 98% of you would do whatever it took to get to California to get that million dollars. Hitchhike, hoe around for money, sell drugs, and you may never have even done nothing like that. Borrow money, borrow money from a bunch of people, panhandle. You would do whatever it took for you to get out there so you can collect that million dollars. And the reason I call it the million dollar theory is because if you applied that to things that you want to do in your life, you would accomplish so much more. If you achieve, if you put yourself in that same mindset on things that you want to do, no matter how big or small it is, you would achieve so much more. And you would see that you've been the only person that stopped you from doing what you want to do. And as easy as that may sound, and as simplistic as that may sound, it isn't. Think about something that you've been wanting to do since you were young, that you have not done. Then write down on a piece of paper why you didn't do it. And it all boils down to you. 
all of it. So with this being Motivation Monday, I just hope that you go out there and you grab and take and get what you're supposed to get. Earn your respect. Grab your respect. Get out there and take it. It's yours for the taking. Anything out here is yours for the taking. There's no one on the planet has more of an ability to do what you can do. They may have money now, but they didn't always. Even if they inherited it, they didn't always. If they started a business, they didn't always. And they had the same 24 hours that you got. The same 24 hours that you got to do things. So stop blaming everybody else for your issues. Get your ass out there and get yours. I don't think I want to go any further than that. I just want to make sure I made a video because I actually had to motivate myself to do this. But that's because at some point, there will be that million dollar bag waiting for me for doing this. Y'all be good. Let's see that. Yeah. Ladies, you have to introduce yourselves yeah. to yeah. us. Yeah, make sure to follow me on Snapchat. Snap the photo, take down my name, whatever works better for you. We gonna let them niggas know where we come from. Yeah. 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 Yeah.